The place is a neighborhood drugstore called Allen's. The time is now, but when you step through the doors at Allen's, you're not quite sure about that. Well, I stepped out the tub and put my feet on the floor. I wrapped the towel around me and I opened the door. And in a splish splash, I jumped back in the bed. You won't find the jukebox in the corner anymore, and the 45 record stacks are gone too. But Allen's hasn't changed all that much in the past 35 years. One reason is its owner. I don't want to update it. Why not? People don't want it updated. It's an old-fashioned drugstore, which is uh, almost non-existent today. Do you have a lot of regulars who drop in? Oh, we do. We have people that are in, in and out of here every day of the world. And why are these people smiling? Well, where else can you find an ice cream cone for 35 cents and a double-dip chocolate soda for 95? And... He puts out the best uh, bean soup in town. I know everybody, and uh, everybody's so friendly. Saturday and Sundays, I wash dishes. That's uh -huh. what I do in Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. This hey. is home. And they're treated like family members, too. Here you are, strawberry malt. Customers come for everything. We have a post office on the balcony, and uh, we also have upstairs on the balcony a watchmaker. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said that if you build a better mousetrap, the world will beat a path to your door. Incidentally, Alan sells those too. You don't remember me, but I remember you. From somewhere back in time, I'm Francis Gray, Channel 6 News.